Um, so I thought I'd just do a quick show round of my uh, new project. Uh, it's my Fiat 500R. So the R, I believe, started in 1972. This is 1973. It was the last of this shape before they went to the 126, the Fiat 126. Um, so consequently, this has got uh, a lot of things that the 126 has got. So it's got the same engine uh, as the 126, which I, I, I find out, I think it puts out about not even 30 brake horse. Um, it's got the 126 wheels on it. Um, and other than that, you know, it, it, it's just a, it's a Fiat 500. Um, when I drove it home, it broke down twice. <laughs> it was running fine when I bought it. Um, but yeah, it broke down twice and um, it seemed to bog down uh, when I was coming to junctions and things. So I've had a little look around it and I've decided that I think it's a, a fueling problem. So I'm going to come on to that later on, but I will just do a little show round of the, the vehicle. I was, I was hoping to take this out for a drive and, and sort of do what I did with my other one, but I think I need to get it fixed before I do that. So I'm going to try and get it fixed. Um, this is the Speedo, all, all in Italian. It's an Italian import. Um, it came into the UK two, uh, no, it came into the UK January this year. Sorry, it was restored um, two years ago. Now it looks all right, the restoration, but it, it's not the best. There's, if you look at, you can't really see, I'm a bit of a perfectionist, but some of the paint is not absolutely amazing. Um, and there is a few bits that I will need to do. My reason for getting this one was because it wasn't, I think it wasn't a bad price. It was just short uh, seven grand. Um, and it's got bits that need doing poor light, but you can see it's got bits where the paint's cracked. Um, there's a few marks on the paintwork. Uh, so it's not, it's definitely not concourse. You know, a lot of things that I'll need to change, but it's a light restoration. So, the idea being that I will be able to do this pretty quickly and electrify it in the time that it takes my other blooming bus to to get painted and everything. So I thought I've had this as a little bit of a project and, and it's not as expensive to do because you don't need as many batteries for this. Um, batteries for the split screen, believe it or not, are probably going to cost me about 15 grand um, because I need somewhere in the region of 8 or 10 batteries. This only needs 4 batteries. Um, so it's going to be a bit cheaper to do and a bit quicker to do. So yeah, I just thought I'd do a quick short round. It's, in, it's stuck in my garage at the moment because it's uh, blooming freezing outside. Um, but I picked this up yesterday. When I turned up, it was running smooth as you like. Now obviously he's had time to, to um, get the engine warm and everything. Um, he's a really nice fellow, the guy that I bought it off. Um, Ra Ra um, Raphael. I think his name was, and, and um, yeah, I don't, you know, I, I, there's nothing under underhand. It's just one of those things with it being a classic car. It actually drove fine. So I drove all the way, bought it in East London. It drove absolutely fine. And then I got to Maidstone and it started to cut out. And it looked like um, on here, you've got a light um, on the benzina, which means petrol in, in Italian. Um, and that was flickering. So I thought I'll pull in and get some fuel. Um, which is a bit of a weird one in itself because to fill up you have to open the bonnet and just tip it in tip it in here basically into the fuel cap so I did that and um, went to start it and it wouldn't start and I eventually did get it started but then it drove for a while and then it cut out again and then it started cutting out on um, he started cutting out on, on on roundabout. So I'm just looking at it now. Now, what all I've done so far is I have, because what it's doing is, I'll try, I'll get some footage in a minute, but it's it's kind of running rough. Um, I've just swapped the fuel filter. You can see I haven't done it all up yet, but um, I swapped the fuel filter. I've checked the air filter, um, which looks fine. Um, and I'm now messing around with a carburetor. One of the things I've noticed is there seems to be, and I might be wrong, a, there's a, it feels a little bit wet around there. Now that could be a bit of rain because when I brought it back yesterday, it was raining, but 
I suspect that there might be a small fuel leak, which means it might be drawing some air in. Um, now I might be wrong. I am not a mechanic, uh, and I'm not, you know, pretending to be an absolute expert on this because I'm, I'm definitely not. So I'm just trying to find my way around it, but I'll, um, I'll try and get some footage of it starting. So what I'm trying to do at the moment is I'm just going to take this off so I can look at the carburetor, see if I can find any obvious um, areas where it might be leaking and have a, have a look if there's anything I can do with that. And then if not, there might be, sometimes on these things there's a, there's a, a screw for tu tuning it a bit more. Um, I'm not an expert but uh, I'll have a little look and see if I can find something. It doesn't really matter to me, but what I want to do is make sure this engine's good when I sell it. Um, it's, it's just been rebuilt. Like he's, the guy said it's got less than sort of a thousand miles, thousand kilometers, he said, sorry. Um, and you know, you can tell it has just been redone. So I wouldn't doubt that it's got all new gas lines and everything. So um, we'll see. The filter was ropey, it was proper rusty, and I am wondering whether there's some crap got in there, but it should have cleared by now. Anyway, we'll see how we go. So although I don't need the engine, I don't want to sell this to someone else. I also want to do other things before I put the electric motor in, like sort the brakes out, and um, without it being able to run properly, um, it's not really helpful. One of the things that I've noticed, because it's running rough, so the first thing that I did was I changed the fuel filter, um, and it seems like it's it's either starving or um, running too rich. I've tried to dial in the carburetor um, using the idle speed and the mixture screws. Uh, it doesn't seem to work and it, and it just seems to keep backfiring. So the only things that I think it can be is the fuel pump or the carburetor. So I've, I've ordered a new fuel pump and I've also ordered a carburetor um, cleaning kit so I thought I'd I've never done one before so I thought I'll give it a go and if I look down there well, when it's um when it backfires you can actually see it um coming out from underneath there it seems to come out and if you look I don't know if you can see that but this part here is a bit of gasket and uh, it doesn't look like the, the carburetor is but sealed on very much very well and and you can actually see it it it, it doesn't look that clean that carburetor. So we've ordered a reconditioning kit and um, I'm going to start taking it apart and we'll see how we get on.